Welcome to the shop. So this video is going to be about the build on this plane here, which is the He Wing T1 Ranger. Also talk a little bit about, you know, the process of putting together an FPV plane. I, I like all kinds of planes, anything that flies. I, I like helicopters, quads, doesn't matter. If it flies, I'm interested in playing with it. Uh, recently had a surgery on my right eye, uh, detached retina and the recovery process is a long time. So I won't be able to see out of this eye for maybe, you know, a month or two, maybe even longer, who knows? So that depth perception on coming in from landings and such on some of those planes, I, you know, it's sketchy. Um, I have a hard time with that. So I figured what the heck, fly some of my FPV stuff. And so I wanted to do an, a video on this plane that I went out, bought, put it together, and just some of the process involved. Uh, FPV is a, just another way to just have a lot of fun, go to the field, chase your friends around, or multiple people with FPV chasing each other around. It's just a fun way to do it. You can make FPV as simple or as complicated as you want, depending. I go through kind of the complicated build process of adding all the electronics, the GPSs, flight controllers, uh, digital uh, video, the whole the whole shebang. I go into some detail, but n not much, more of just talking points and quick kind of uh, time lapse. So, uh, hope you enjoy the video. Stay tuned. Building one of these things is pretty easy if you just want to throw a receiver in it, a uh, battery, and um, simple camera or no camera, right? That stuff's easy. When things get hard, when you're putting in a flight controller and doing all the solder work on all this, uh, all the connections to the wings that control the motors, the ESCs, control the servos, control the lights, and putting that all together, as well as you know when these things come out you know they're they're thinking you're just wiring it directly to a receiver where in this case with the flight controller you don't uh you're not going to use a lot of y cables for the left and right ailerons those are separate uh elevator obviously um but a lot of thought goes into all these pieces and parts haven't even figured out where everything's going to go how it's going to be put together or locked down and then you have the whole system on your, your camera system. I'm using uh, an HD camera, um, DJI Air Unit, and uh, that's gonna go in the front here. This gets really, really hot. Gotta make sure it stays cool. Also want access to that port there, as well as the bind switch, because I switch back and forth to uh, an FPV drone that requires me rebinding every once in a while. Then you have the receiver. The receiver, it has to be flashed, it has to be bound to the radio and all the setup inside the radio. So when you look at one of these FPV planes, the building the plane is the simple part. It's the electronics that really take a lot of time, but that's part of the enjoyment, figuring things out, running the cables. It's kind of fun if you like that sort of thing. So stay tuned as we'll keep on progressing and uh, putting this thing together. See ya.
Okay, she is finally done. Um, had had kind of a rough go on a couple of things. One is just all the soldering that's required on it without my depth perception because my eye is still messed up. Uh, it's kind of interesting to uh, solder with one eye. Uh, makes things pretty challenging. Anyway, let me walk you through kind of what I got here. Air unit. Uh, 3d printed part opened up inside there to get a lot more air into the air unit which is right up front so right up front there's the air unit i just cut a little bit here and shoved the uh, antenna there and foam tacked it in place uh, did require a fair amount of cutting up front to get the camera and everything to fit properly uh, inside again you know had trouble uh, the first Flight controller broke it. Um, just yeah, disappointing, but oh well. Got the new one in there, the 405 WSE, using a FR Sky R9 Mini receiver, the 900 megahertz for longer range. And uh, basically, it's pretty much stock. Uh, didn't really do anything different other than a couple 3D parts, make things a little easier for me, give me some extra room uh, by you know, making two story out of it. Anyway, uh, that's it. We're going to go maiden it now and uh, should be good. Configuration's all set up. I now have five. Uh, gone over it a couple, three or four or five times to make sure everything tests right. Tested it uh, outside, but I'm going to take it to the field for the first flight. So it should be good. All right. Maiden flight. Beautiful morning. It's cold. No wind. Uh, let's see, uh, hopefully uh, it'll all work out. I'm going to plug her in, get a GPS lock, and then do uh, auto launch because, well, pretty much auto launch all my maidens and they seem to work out okay. So we'll see if the uh, one-eyed Will can uh, get this thing off the ground. I got the props on wrong way. <laughs> awesome. Got to fix that. Like so, power up, power up, and hope, hope we, we do okay. Oh, that's beautiful. Straight up climb. Launch good. All right, welcome back to the shop. Talk a little bit about the Maiden. It was a rough start. Uh, it had uh, some issues getting GPS lock. Uh, I found that when I unplugged the DJI uh, air unit, then the lock came a lot faster because I was waiting quite a while for, for a lock and that was a little bit concerning, but that all worked out. Then next, I, I had some weird error. Uh, probably should have just unplugged, rebooted and, and been fine. And then the other, like an idiot, I, I put the prong props on. So it had just calamity after calamity with this thing, with flight controllers getting screwed up. On I screwed them up. 
uh, settings not quite right, forgetting to save things. And it's funny, I've built a lot of FPV planes, but for some reason, <laughs> things just fell apart. I blame it on the, uh, the eye. That made me goofy. Maybe I'm still under anesthesia. Who knows? Um, anyway, uh, once we got launched, uh, the launching went perfect. Everything about it, uh, as far as uh, the auto launch, took off beautifully. Went through uh, auto-tune, everything tuned up nice, uh, aerobatic enough, cruise is great. Flew around for six minutes or so in a 1300. I'm gonna try a 2200 to get a little bit more flight time. Uh, it's just a really easy, capable airframe. Uh, it a lot of fun to build. Uh, it, Look forward to, to playing around a little bit more with it and cruising. And I will say this is my first experience with having a, you know, the air unit, the DJI, on one of my wings or FPV planes. And that was a lot of fun instead of having analog. That was a big game changer. That was a lot of fun to play with. Anyway, for the most part, it went off without a hitch. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about how I set things up, uh, some of the 3D parts I printed, they were all on Thingiverse. I didn't make anything on my own. And uh, if you have any comments, leave them below. If you like uh, what I'm doing, obviously, like, subscribe. It makes me feel good about these videos. Have a great day. Enjoy.